hi everyone welcome back to my channel i am back today with a review on my chloe fe backpack and i purchased this now two years ago and since then i used it quite a bit it's also one of my most used handbags in my collection so far and yeah you guys if you're interested to see the review just keep on watching this handbag uh you know back then in 2017 and 18 um, the hype was very real on backpacks and you know I was looking after a classy backpack that it would look also elegant and chic and not only sporty um, so I came across this handbag uh, of course been featured by other youtubers and you know bloggers so I somehow got inspired by them and I really liked the look I really liked how it looked on me you know and so that's why I opted for this one. The Chloe Fee comes in um, backpack, by the way. The Chloe Fee backpack comes in three different sizes. They released a mini size that's, I'm not sure if it's called mini or nano, It's but it's a small one. And then this one is a small. And then it comes even in a medium, medium size. Let me show you the back, how it looks from closer. Um, as you can tell, this comes in a calfskin leather, in a smooth calfskin leather, as well as in a suede leather. And I chose the color black. Of course, that of course the back comes in different colors as well. They may have like seasonal colors. The hardware is gold. However, this piece on the back is in silver. And this is something. This is a feature that I really, really like. All right. Um, here you can tell this is how it looks in the front. You have this uh, ring here. This is basically the opening. And then this chain hanging, you know, between the ring and here the other hardware. The backpack has no feet on the bottom. It comes with two shoulder straps to carry it, you know, uh, on your shoulders like this as a backpack however the back has as well this strap here to carry the back on your shoulder and as well here something that I really, really like I appreciate the fact that I have versat versatility and uh, I can you know wear the back basically to a different style um, this strap here is detachable so you can detach those this strap you could um, theory theoretically you could also detach those straps, however, that's a real, real struggle. I tried it once and I would not recommend it because the, the holes here on the strap, they are so stiff and in order to get the, basically this metal button, you know, out of the strap, um, it takes quite long and is a struggle because the, the leather strap is very stiff and so are these, um, you know, holes. So again, I, tr I tried it to remove it once, but I it was a real struggle, so I let it. But this one is much easier, obviously, because you have this, um, this clip here. You just can detach it. All right. These straps, by the way, are um, adjustable. Just so you can adjust it, you know, based on your body frame. You know, you can make it shorter or a bit longer. And then as of heaviness, not quite sure i mean yes the bag might be a little bit heavy uh, compared to other bags that might not be even a full leather bag simply because you know it is a leather bag and, and you have a lot of hardware you know you have this piece of hardware that is quite heavy this chain you know those rings here and so on and so forth i attached a back charm and this is a charm by Chimi Chu. i've been gifted this one um i believe it was one year ago um, yeah you guys let me show you the inside there you go guys let me quickly show you that you have those two beautiful silver pools and the <laughs> these zipper pools you know have this leather tap which i really really like and so you can expand the back basically by opening those zippers um to make it bigger and when you expand the back the detail is in suede in black suede leather as well on both sides by the way both on both sides all right um yeah so this is the interior of the back and it's in a beige cotton lining 
you can tell there is a zipper compartment here on this side that also has a zipper um, a zipper a leather you know a leather tassel on the zipper pull and the 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 pocket the zipper pocket it's you know quite quite deep and then on the other side there is one flat pocket as you can tell and currently inside I have my Chloe certificate as well as care booklet there you go and this is how it looks inside so far I don't see any um, like any any stains as you guys know I try to keep my back as prestige as possible however you cannot avoid sometimes to have uh, dirt and stains you know but it's it doesn't seem like that the interior is you know um, hard to take care of all right um, I will just show you how to open there is you know the opening has this button and this is a magnetic button you can close it and it closes automatically and then you can open it like this let me show you um, you know what the bag can hold so you get an idea you know uh, how much things you could carry with you okay you guys I just put the camera down so you have a better view and this again the interior of the bag let's start with a full-size wallet this is the only full-size wallet I have um, as of now I still have my zippy compact wallet by Louis Vuitton but this is a little bit smaller than this one this is the um, uh, a Michael Kors wallet uh, the Jet Set Michael Kors wallet and I really really enjoy this one I believe this is the same size as a Sarah wallet by Louis Vuitton I just want to show you that a full size wallet definitely fits inside even though it takes you quite a lot of space uh, but you could carry it with you I could even put it like this and it fits very nicely now for I just wanted to show you that this is working but I clearly would not carry this big size wallet with this backpack but I you know wanted to show you that um, it is working in my case I will carry a smaller uh, purse either a zippy, com a zippy coin purse or this one this is the Rosalie coin purse that I just bought like a week ago and it's in the Damia Ben and I will put it just you know inside this is a cosmetic pochette in Damier Azure and the size is in the PM size I probably would not carry this type of cosmetic pochette with me but let me show you that this is possible there you go this is how it fits perfectly I would rather go with a mini pochette and this one now is the Damier Eben version I have a clay pochette and this clay pochette I use for cashback cards or any uh, coupon cards or even appointment cards and I will put this clay pochette inside the flip or flat pocket let's say like this one here I just put the clip pochette there you go I also have my four ring key holder and I will put this probably inside the zipper pocket just for easy access let me show you this way I will put it inside the zippy pocket then I have my um, Apple AirPods. This one is the new version. I will put it as well in the pocket next to my four ring key holder. I have my prescription glasses and I carry now them inside this beautiful sunglasses case by Louis Vuitton. Just put it on top. I have here my hand sanitizer and my mobile phone this is the 11 Pro I just stick it inside somewhere there you go and as you can tell you still have um, space 
to carry other things you could let me show you that the uh, mobile phone is fitting actually very nice in this pocket here on the front maybe I'll show it like this there you go here it is fitting very very nice you could even um, you know put your mobile phone inside this slot I believe this is even better so let me put this one here okay show you quickly how everything looks inside There you go and you still will have space actually you know you could still carry more things with you let's pretend maybe a card case I don't know maybe you need more cards with you maybe a passport and this is the passport case by Louis Vuitton and I believe by now it is quite quite full I can close the back like this and it is holding very nicely without any bulkiness not quite sure if I would be able to you know close the zipper but we can try all right it is closing very very nice the bag is now of course heavy um, let me show you something else um, I just want to show you that a bottle of water would also fit inside this bag Maybe I just remove the um, cosmetic pochette since I have my mini pochette with me. I don't see why I should need as well a cosmetic pochette. But now, this is the bottle of water that I want to show you that it fits. Um, I may need to maneuver things inside my bag. So, this is a 500 milliliter of water. Um, so, a half liter. Then I have my mini pochette. It fits very nice. I have my wallet. I have my clay pochette and the card case. My hand sanitizer. My prescription glasses or sunglasses. All right. My mobile phone that is inside, you know, tucked inside this slot. And on the other side, let me show it like this. And in, on the other pocket, I have my four ring key holder and the AirPods. Um, I'm sure there is nothing else I would need more. I can still um, zip my bag, close it, and voila. There you go. So this bag might be small, but guys, it holds quite a lot. Let me step back now and show you some modeling shots. There you go guys, I am about 5 foot 3. This is 1 meter 61 centimeters and the back is in the small size. Again, you can wear the back by shoulder. And the length of the strap is quite generous so it doesn't bother me that the back, you know, is um, in between of my arm and my body. I believe it is actually very, very comfortable. All right, then you have those older straps where you can carry the bag as a backpack. Either you carry it like this or obviously as a backpack now you can tell something that I personally do not really like because the backpack is now very full and because of this hardware here being very heavy the backpack tends to fall a little bit uh, to the front As you can tell, it is falling a little bit to the front, like, you know, like this. So this is something I don't really like, but to be honest, when I'm running errands and I have this backpack with me, I don't really care. Somehow I just, you know, I still find it very, very stylish and chic and super comfortable on my back. Here with one strap.
here by elbow yeah there you go guys uh, this was my review on this backpack again I really like it I, f I find it very I find it very very comfortable and you know very stylish and chic uh, but you know the hardware on the front might be a little bit heavy especially when you carry the back as a backpack um, it tends to fall a little bit upwards you know um, but other than that I don't have anything else to say bad on this backpack you know the leather is holding very well even the suede leather in black at least is holding very well and I really enjoy this backpack I would never um, remove any straps I just carry the back as it is because I like the possibility to have this strap to carry the back by shoulder or if I am running errands and I need my you know I need, I need to be hands a bit more um, you know flexible then I carry the back by by this uh, shoulder here you know back right you guys I really hope you enjoyed watching this review let me know if you have any questions on the backpack and I will get back to you as soon as possible stay safe stay healthy wash your hands and see you soon on my next video bye